Thank you, David, uh, and thanks to Market One for the opportunity to talk about um, our exciting new listing uh, of CGN resources. Uh, we, we we think we're in a fantastic location to uh, to make a, a copper, nickel, or critical metal discovery, uh, and uh, we lodged our prospectus last week, so we're anticipating opening that uh, prospectus uh, any day now. If you could go to the next slide, please. Uh, that's just our disclaimers. Uh, yeah, look, I guess in terms of investment highlights, uh, we've got a fantastic 950 square kilometre package right in the heart of the west, uh, west of Runter origin. Uh, and as you can see from that picture, we've got some great neighbours. Other people also think it's a great idea to, to do exploration. We've got Rio Tinto to our west, who's committed $50 million. Uh, WA1, if you've been following their story, have made a major discovery of niobium. Uh, in a carbonatite and encounter have as well, and they've been highly rewarded for it. We've been out there exploring as a private exploration company for 10 years. So we've already spent $6 million on the ground, which gives us a great database of drilling, uh, geophysical surveys, airborne and ground based. And that's allowed us to uh, produce six, what we call our high priority targets, four for IOCG, one for nickel and one for rare earths. Uh, and we're looking to kick off our drilling to align with our um, with our listing in late September, early October. Uh, the IPO itself, we've got a minimum raise of eight million with a maximum of ten. We've had strong interest, uh, which is fantastic, and we think we'll be closer to the ten than the eight, which is great news. It gives us a really good war chest to go and do high quality exploration for the next couple of years. Um, as I said, we're looking to list probably early October, and we'll kick off drilling. Uh, two of our IOCG targets, Tantor and Saurus, when we list. Next slide, please. This is just a quick snapshot of where we're at today. So we're a private company. We've been doing exploration for 10 years. We've got 60 million shares currently in the book. We're looking to raise eight at a minimum at 20 cents, which will take us to 100 million uh, shares uh, and a market cap of 20, which we think is a really nice, tight, small structure. Uh, our shareholders are... Um, have been a curated list of mostly high net worths and then also management uh, that uh, are all investors in the resource business uh, and are keen to stay with us through this journey. Our board is uh, highly experienced. Daryl, our chairman, has been a company director of multiple ASX listed companies and is a very experienced metallurgist. I'm a geologist by background um, and uh, have been heavily involved in consulting and strategic advice to boards over the last uh, 30 years, really. Uh, Grant Mooney, a multiple uh, director of ASX listed companies and a highly experienced company secretary. So we've got a good mix of technical uh, corporate and governance there. And our advisors uh, on the sort of technical geology side, Dr. Mark Allen, uh, an expert in IOCG and, and copper in general, and Tom Redcliffe, who was the guy that kicked off this project, uh, looking for diamonds originally, but a highly experienced geologist, and brings all of those stakeholder relationships through the uh, through the through our process. Next slide, please. Uh, this is just a bit of a, I guess, a demonstration of sort of what it was like five years ago when we were out there. We were an early mover. It was good geoscience that took us there. Uh, we recognised the potential for this region to host well, a really diverse set of, of possible opportunities and it allowed us to peg this really substantial ground holding. Five years ago, very little interest. You move forward to today with a little bit of discovery and uh, some money to go and look. Uh, and all of a sudden that entire West Arunta uh, region there is blocked out with high quality explorers. Um, and we think we're in like, yeah, well, the most prospective part of the West Toronto. We sit right against the Central Australian suture and there's a major crustal features that run right through our tenement as well as a number of intrusives. Next slide, please. Uh, it's not just us that think it's a, a really amazing place to be doing exploration. Uh, Geoscience Australia, uh, GSWA have done quite a lot of research here from sort of 2015 through to 2018 and highlighted this area, the West Arunta, as highly prospective for IOCG and nickel, uh, magmatic nickel type projects. In fact, the whole Arunta has been sort of flagged as that. And that's why people like IGO and Rio Tinto have taken major land holdings. Um, 
we've got, uh, as I said, like our, our neighbours are strong. We've got good ground. We think it's ripe for discovery. And there's a lot of money that has been going to be poured into here. Uh, Rio's committed 50 million. WA One's raised 30 and is spending it uh, as we speak. ENR have raised quite a bit and are also doing great work. Next slide, please. Uh, this is just a quick snapshot of the six targets that we'll be looking to explore over the next uh, two years. Uh, Tantor, Soros, Snorky and Horton are IOCG targets. Uh, Shep is a nickel target and Hathi is a rare earths target. Uh, if we could just go to the next slide, I'll run through a bit more detail on each of those. Uh, so Tantor is what I would call a classical IOCG target. It's a, a mag high with a gravity high nestled up in against it. It is really similar in its setup to one of the other great IOCGs in Australia, Prominent Hill. The scale is similar. The, the way that the mag and the, and, the, and the gravity sit together is very similar. There's a, that sort of dark blue you can see in, that, in the left-hand picture is a major crustal scale fault. So it sits up against that. Uh, and that is really all of the pieces of architecture you want to see for a uh, IOCG target. And so we'll be looking to drill. This is our first target. We've got some EIS funding to support that. Uh, and we will plunge a 600 metre deep diamond hole right into the heart of that gravity anomaly uh, as our first project, which is, you know, a little ballsy, but uh, we're very excited to be doing it. Next slide, please. Soros, uh, in many ways, is similar to uh, Tantor. It's a regional, regionally significant uh, gravity anomaly. Uh, it sits right up against, again, another major crustal feature, possibly the biggest one that runs through our property, a splay off the central Australian suture. So it's very close to a triple point junction. Again, we uh, sought and received EIS funding to go and drill this. Uh, you can see the modelling above has it as a very deep rooted system. Uh, we've got a 700 metre hole on that image. We're actually only going to drill 600 metres. Well, unless we find something, then we'll just keep going. But um, so this will be the other target that we drill uh, in October, just post listing. Next slide, please. Uh, SHEP is a really interesting target. Uh, it's based on a geochem intercept from a hole that was put in the wrong spot targeting a kimberlite. Uh, fortunately or unfortunately, uh, however you want to look at it, uh, it actually hit a 30 metre zone of highly anomalous nickel above half a percent uh, and a couple of metres in there are above one percent. Uh, as well as the nickel, it's highly anomalous in chromium, cobalt, vanadium, copper. Uh, it's got a sulphur kick. Uh, and so we, th and it also overlies this really interesting uh, sill like magnetic feature. So this is a high priority target, but we won't get to this one until we kick off our big programs next year. Um, and we're really excited to go and test both those. The, the green dots you can see there are ones we have permitted, and then we're seeking permitting to go and drill the other ones. Next slide, please. Uh, our Hathi target is a rare earth target. Again, a geochemical and geophysical target. Uh, it was a kimberlite. Uh, targeted hole and you can see three holes there 44 45 and 46 uh, 45 the, the hole of interest hit a 37 meter zone at 0.38 total rare earths which is highly anomalous uh, and really unusual for a kimberlite the two kimberlites either side of it had some but this is literally 10 times higher uh, in its anomalism than the, the, the surrounding kimberlites uh, it also sits up against this interesting dike-like feature, uh, which looks like it comes off a much larger intrusive feature, which is that purple uh, feature you can see there. So we're going to come in, uh, read, test along the strike of that dike-like feature, and then also hit those X and Y targets, which are large. Uh, it, it's the highest magnetic component, and it also comes closer to surface there. So this uh, will also be part of our next year's programs. Next target, uh, next slide, please. Snorky and Horton, uh, regionally significant gravity uh, anomalies nestled between two large regional scale faults which share that same northwest, uh, southwest, northeast trend, which is consistent throughout our project. Uh, they also have some anomalous drill holes nearby. Uh, the nearest one is that red dot you can see just north of uh, Grav uh, G, uh, which is our snorky target. And it uh, has sort of 
plus a thousand ppm uh, copper and cobalt. And there's a couple of holes a little bit further away that get up to a quarter of a percent copper uh, and uh, several thousand percent cobalt. So we see mineralization in the drill holes in this region. So these are sort of high priority targets for our next year as well. Uh, they'll get sort of first pass drilling. Uh, next target, uh, next slide, please. Uh, look, we've been, uh, although we've been a company exploring for 10 years, our IPO process has been very compressed. Uh, we see an opportunity to sort of leverage off the success of our neighbours to some extent, but we think our targets are possibly better than what they listed with. Um, and uh, we've managed to keep to a really tight budget, a really tight timeline, uh, which has allowed us to put our prospectus in last week as we had planned. That should open this week. Uh, we get drilling at the end of the month uh, and we list in early October. Uh, the future looking programs are all, all designed, uh, are mostly permitted, and so we're ready to go for next year's uh, series of programs. Next slide, please. Sort of, a, I guess, as a, as, as a snapshot of uh, investment summary, we've got an amazing 950 square metre, uh, a square kilometre package right in the heart of one of the hottest uh, districts for exploration right now. We've got amazing targets uh, that are based on good geoscience and high quality data sets. Uh, the previous work that we've done there gives us this great database, but also allows us when we get new data to bring into our database and really refine those targets quickly or, or establish new ones. Uh, there is probably another 10 targets that sit below our high priority targets. Uh, that we're really interested to get more data on. We've got a high quality team. It's quite lean at the moment, but everyone in it uh, is, is high quality and highly experienced in the job they need to do. We've got great relationships with the local traditional owners, the Jammer Jammer people. We were the first company to sign an agreement with them back in 2013. So we've been working with them for 10 years and have great relationships uh, there, which allows us to be very dynamic when, we, when it comes to permitting things. Um, our upcoming drilling program is super exciting. Uh, that's two deep, really interesting targets that uh, we're really hopeful will generate a great deal of interest uh, not long after we list. Uh, at the valuation of $20 million market cap at a 20 cent listing price, when you compare it to our neighbours in this district, seems like exceptional value to me. So uh, get on board if you can, uh, and I'm happy to take any questions. Thanks, Stan. A great story, great neighbourhood, um, exciting times ahead. Firstly, the obvious one, how did you manage to get such a strong land package in this tightly held and highly prospective region? Uh, look, I think it's common in, in this business, uh, some good geology and some good luck. Uh, we, The guys that started the company, uh, Tom Redcliffe was one of them I mentioned, and Zlad Sass, went out there with a the clear idea that this was right for large magmatic systems. They went there targeting diamonds. Uh, and although they uh, they were successful, really, they, they discovered Australia's largest kimberlite field, uh, micro diamonds in loam, but uh, they found 280 kimberlites, tested 50 of them. Unfortunately, none of them contained diamonds. But what it did do is it enabled us to get a better understanding of geology. Uh, and we were able then to sort of pivot into these larger magmatic systems. And so their good work of getting on the ground early uh, was probably the, the main reason we've ended up with such a, a great package, but also keeping it in good standing, as you know, like making sure these things stay live and active. We've managed to roll over the tenure and really create uh, all our tenure still has long life. So we're really lucky in that respect. And we're sort of lucky that uh, there's been some good discoveries around us but I would say it was good geoscience that took us there. And what are your hopes for this upcoming drilling program? Uh, look, whenever you go into a new uh, exploration greenfield program, uh, when you've done a lot of work, well, me personally, I, I get very excited. Uh, it's a very exciting time to go and, uh, you know, it's like having your first child. You get to uh, go out and gaze upon it and see what's what's there. These are big targets, you know, I'd like to see that we have, you know, a 400 metre intercept above a percent copper, but your first drill hole into a major magmatic target is not likely to deliver that. What I would like to see is a, a proof of concept 
the evidence of a large magmatic system that might be, you know, large hematitic alteration, magnetite alteration, some uh, evidence of base metals, that to me would be uh, a, an exceptional start to then be able to go back next year with a big program and really test these things in detail. And it is a big package of ground. You've touched on a number of targets that you will be focusing on. Are there additional targets that are sort of the next tier or, or, or the next ones on in the pipe? Uh, yeah, certainly. So we've really concentrated. We went there with the idea of looking for large magmatic systems. Uh, so we've done our targeting around that. And the six targets we've got are high quality and, and well-researched and I think really relevant targets. Outside of that, there's probably another 10 what I would call intrusive targets that just require more work. We need to get some gravity over them. Uh, we would like, like to refine them a little bit before we uh, you know, commit to drilling. So we've got a number of next stage um, geophysical uh, programs that we'll be doing next year to give us a better data set, uh, especially along the Southern Corridor, right up against the Central Australian Suture. Uh, that, that area in particular has some really amazing looking uh, geophysical features, which are definitely intrusive related. So we just need to do a little bit more work on those before we commit to them. Well, as you say, a big land package, exciting neighbourhood, a lot to be done and uh, much to follow with the company moving forward. Um, really look forward to following the, the listing or the proposed listing and how that rolls out for anyone looking to take up an investment opportunity there. Obviously, CGN Resources website would be the place to go over the coming week uh, to yeah. subscribe initially. And then also when the prospectus goes live, that'll be the place yeah, to find. The, just sorry to interrupt. The prospectus is already on the website. So if okay. you have any interest, go and uh, download the prospectus. Uh, and like I said, we're, we're hoping to open anytime soon. So thanks very much for the opportunity, David. Perfect. Thanks, Stan. We follow with interest. Cheers.